What up, guys? We have Kalija. He's ready for questions. Who would like to start? Right here in your front. You guys start the season uh, playing Georgia. So what are your thoughts on not only playing an SEC game week one, but against Georgia? And I guess, what do you expect out of that? Um, first and foremost, it's a big opportunity. Um, we're looking forward to it. Uh, you know, we're going to take it one game at a time. Uh, Georgia's game one. So we realize, you know, we realize they're a talented team. But we also believe in our talent and our skills. So, you know, we're going to step on the field and, and play it out. To your right arm. Uh, Taylor member at Fox 17, Nashville. Kalaji, you decided to stay for your senior season. What is your main focus and what is your main goal this year? My main goal is to help my team be as good as we can be. Um, amongst all, I have some personal goals, but, you know, those are secondary to, secondary to any team goals that we have. How, what was the team's response when the three of you guys that are here at Media Days decided to stay? Um, I think we were excited because we know, I know personally that Jared and Keyshawn are great talents. Um, but ultimately, it's, not a, it's, it's more than us. You know, there's you know, 95 more people on the team you know, that, that can play and, you know, and that, and that are con going to contribute in some type of way. So um, you know, it's a team game, and we're looking forward to playing. To your left here, second row. Jordan Campbell, Fox Sports Shows. How has the transition been for you away from Kyle Shermer to your new quarterbacks? Um, it's been a transition. Uh, Kyle's, you know, there's only one Kyle Shermer, but uh, the new quarterback, you know, and Riley, the transfer, and, you know, and Deuce, the guy who's kind of, you know, learning from Kyle, Kyle the whole time, you know, looking forward to letting them compete it out and stepping on the field. Whoever, whoever steps on the field day one is going to be, you know, is someone who, who we believe in and looking forward to play with. To your right against the wall, please. Hey, Kalaja, Michael Bradman from Saturday Down South. Your senior class there at Vanderbilt, undefeated against Tennessee, yet every year they're going to pick the balls over you guys. Does that bother you? And is one of the goals going into the year to leave uh, Vanderbilt undefeated against Tennessee? It doesn't bother me because, you know, media says what they're going to say. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we have to line up and play football. Uh, like you stated, we're 3-0 in my time here, um, you know, looking forward, looking to be 4-0, you know. But like I said, we have to line up and play. So not, nothing's given. Um, we're going to have to take that from them. Yes, right here in the middle. A lot of people feel that this could be the most talented Vanderbilt team since Coach Mason took over that program. Would you agree with that? Uh, yes, sir. I, I think um, I want to say the most outright talented team because we've we've had some guys that can play, but overall we have a lot of talent um, and a lot of talent that people don't know about. You know, at that. What's it going to take to, to get back to a bowl game this year? And is that kind of your team's, is that your main focus, what you guys are talking about in the locker room? Uh, yes, sir. I think as a team, a big focus is to get to a bowl game, but not only to get to it, to win it. Um, like I said, I think we, ha we feel like we have the talent to do so. Um, and we, like I said, it's, it's, it's going to be a one week at a time thing. You know, we got to take it one game at a time, one step at a time. And at the end of the season, we'll see that where, where that lies and, you know, where we're going from there. Again, back against the wall. Uh, Keyshawn Vaughn was a guy that I wasn't that familiar with until he played last season for you guys. If he stays healthy, do you think he could be the best running back in the SEC next season? Hot take, Keyshawn Vaughn is the best running back in the SEC, point blank period. Um, he may not say it, but I'll tell you guys, because I see how he works every day. Um, I, I see the, the, the attention he pays to detail. I see his intentions as far as how he wants to grow and, you know, and how good he wants to be. And if you watched us play Baylor, you saw that when he's hot, he can do whatever he wants on the football field. You know, it's really just, you know, get him the ball and watch him go. So, um, like I said, looking forward to seeing that guy grow, you know, and be even better than he was last year, you know, this upcoming fall. Oh, I thought it was great. I thought, I thought, you know, that's what I expected out of him. I knew he was gonna, you know, he was gonna come, come correct, um, you know, and, and show you guys what a little bit of uh, that Nashville personality is about. What, what is the Nashville personality? 
Um, overall, I think um, it's, I, I think if I had to explain Keyshawn in three words, it'd probably be cool, um, collected, and smooth. Uh, you know, you, you know what you're going to get from him. Um, you know, you know he's going to treat people well, um, but you know he's also a fierce competitor. He's passionate, and you know you're going to get his best every day. I guess on the opposite side, though, Jared's a little bit more of the quiet side. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's a spectrum. It's a spectrum. So, and and that's another reason why I think I was excited for you know those other two guys to come back because they allow me to be myself. Um, I don't have to be too loud, but I can also I can also be quiet. You know, so. Um, like you said, it's a spectrum. One's on, Keyshawn's on this end, Jared's on this end, and you know, I'm right in the middle, and we kind of all balance each other out. But, you know, fun crowd to be around for sure. Obviously, there's three offensive guys on the field right now. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your defense. What, what are we going to look for? A lot of question marks. You know. oh, I'm happy you asked that. I, you know, obviously, there are a lot of questions, um, okay. but, you know, Look, I'm looking forward to seeing our defensive player. We had some younger guys last year that were just kind of finding themselves. I look forward to seeing them step into bigger roles this year. Um, and, you know, we got Frank, Frank Copper on the back end, who I think, you know, was up there in the SEC in, in interceptions. We got Dio, you know, on the line, who, you know, tearing stuff up. And, you know, we got a lot of guys in between that can, can make plays. Uh, I know they're a little bit understated and, you know, nothing, not much is expected from them. But, you know, we believe in those guys and, you know, we're looking forward to, you know, having them help us win games. In the middle here by the camera bank. You just said that Keyshawn Vaughn's the best running back in the SEC, even though he wouldn't admit it. You led the nation, or sorry, led the conference uh, in, in receptions last year. Where are you on that list of wide receivers? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. I'm up there. I, I, that's not for me to call. I think, you know, I, I believe in my skill set. I believe in my talent. But at the same time, I know there's a lot of guys in, around the SEC who can play good ball at the receiver position. So um, I think overall I'm still growing as a player, and I look to, to do better than I did last year. I don't think I've hit my peak, um, you know, as a, fo as a college football player. So. To your right, third row. Hey, Kalaja, I saw your, your pin, the parish. Yes, sir. What's that about? Uh, so, St. Bernard Development Project is where my, uh, was my, where my father's from, where his, his mother's from. Um, it's in the Seven Water, New Orleans, um, you know, and that's home. Um, went to school there up until Katrina. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a big neighborhood, and, you know, it's always love, you know, around that time. It doesn't exist anymore since Katrina. It's now the Columbia Parks. But, you know, that area, um, that seven, seven, same Seven Water area is where my mother's from as well. So, that whole little, you know, that, that neighborhood is kind of, you know, my... My stomach grounds, I played my first football there, you know, and that will always be home. Why, why was it important for you to wear the pen? Um, you know, just to represent, I think, you know, I go to school in Nashville. Um, it's, it's easy to forget where you come from sometimes when you're away for a long time. Um, and, you know, my, my dad gave me this. The place means a lot to me, and I wanted to show them, that, you know, that they're always in my mind and heart. To your left, second Hey, row. big man, how you doing? Sheldon Heger with WBRC-TV here in town. Um, there's a stigma that goes with Vanderbilt when we're talking about education and that it's a tough school. So I want to know how hard are classes there at Vanderbilt? And... <sighs> it, it, it can be tough. Um, but just like anywhere else, any other school in the nation, um, you know, it's about time management. Uh, as long as you take care of what you're supposed to take care of before you do what you want to do, um, you know, it, you'll be all right. You know, and sometimes you just kind of got to grit your, grit your teeth through, you know, certain exams and papers. But, you know, that's the work that must be done. Sociology. Yes, sir. To your left in the cameras. Hey, uh, Jacques Doucet, WAFB-TV in Baton Rouge. So you're a New Orleans guy? Yes, sir. All right. So LSU's going to Nashville this year. <sighs> Okay, go ahead. What you say? How do you feel about that? You excited about that game? I'm excited, man. I think you know it's great. Um, you know, I would say to anybody that's covering that game, um, my my father's planning a big trip um, up there. Is 120 people. Um, so we're, they're going to show down, you know, and we we're going we're gonna, to you know play our butts off, and hopefully we come out come out of there with a dub. But you know, it's, it's going to be a big thing, and I'm looking forward to it. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, coach Mason, when he took over at Vanderbilt, it's his first time as a head coach. So have you seen him grow into that role over your time there? Um, I think he's, he's, come, he's become more confident over time. I think, you know, you see him now, and, and he's the face of our program. He, he's, he's Derek Mason. You see his personality. You see how he dresses. You see how he, he addresses people. 
you know. Um, but, you know, he had to grow into that. I don't think he, you know, like I said, like you said, it, it was his first time as a head coach. So I, I think that was something that he had to transition into. And now you see him as he is today, you know, um, and, you know, being the leader in face of our team and program. To your left here, second row. You have started each year. You've been at Vanderbilt. And I'm just wondering, as a senior, what's your message and, and what experiences do you share with those that are joining your position ranks behind you? Um, you know, in my room amongst the receivers, I try to tell the guys that, you know, don't be in a rush. Um, you know, things are gonna, adversity is going to strike. Um, and, you know, to correct you, I, I didn't start my sophomore year. Um, and, you know, that, you know, ultimately serves as a, as a learning tool, you know, that, you know, the, the best guys are going to play. Um, I, I served the role and I was happy in that role. But over that time, I've grown as a player. So I try to tell the guys, you know, you're going to grow. Um, the, the person you come in as, you're not going to leave as. Um, and, you know, take it one step at a time. Don't rush it. To your right, standing up. All right, man, if we're coming from Louisiana, what's a must do in Nashville? What's a must do in Nashville? Um, you got to hit Hattie B's, um, the hot chicken. Uh, you got to hit Hattie B's, um, hit Broadway. Um, if you're not a drinker, just, you know, just to see the lights and see the people. Um, you know, there's a bunch of things. I think Keyshawn would probably be better to answer that. You know, he's from he's from the city, but uh, you know, th those are some of the things I would say are, are big tourist attractions. All right, this is gonna be the toughest question to answer all day. Hattie B's or Popeyes? Popeyes, Louisiana, <laughs> Louisiana <laughs> Kitchen for sure. Again, on the left, Baton Rouge question. So, are you a big music fan? And in Nashville, can you bump into a superstar like in a small club or something like that? I'm not a big clubber. Let's get that right. But um, uh, I am a big music fan. Um, my my dad, you know, raised me to listen to all types of music. Um, so country, country, I have a few country songs on my playlist. Um, but I've never bumped into anyone uh, big. Um, you know, hopefully that happens soon. I can kind of get into that crowd. But uh, not 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 as of now. How'd you do that? Uh, I mean, it, it depends who it depends on who you ask. I think it can be. You know, it definitely with, with Billy Ray Cyrus getting on it, it. It has that country tone. It already has a country sound to it. So why not? Um, but it also, you know, Lil Nas X is is a talented guy, and I'm not sure he's one of those guys you can't really pin a genre on him. Um, but it's it's a good song. So why should you have to? Anything else? Hey, thank you very much. Thank you.